Just want to take a moment to show one of my favorite joinery methods. This is what I would call the half lap pocket hole combo joint. And it's really quick to make and an incredibly strong joint and is good for making structural framework with 2x4 material. It's not a fine furniture joint because of the exposed pocket holes and screws, but it is the next best thing to doing a traditional type mortise and tenon joinery. But if you have utilitarian type woodworking to do, you don't really need the overkill and effort it takes to make mortise and tenons. So this joinery method is just a couple quick cuts on the table saw. This rabbit and this rabbit are made at the same time and they're pretty much the same type of cuts. So you can make those half lap rabbit joints and then a couple pocket holes. There's two variations on this. Um, the, the better way to do it is to do one pocket hole on the back side and then two on the opposite side and it makes it very strong and rigid. The alternative is to put a screw through the top face like that and that's the method that I use to make the frame bed on my truck. So today I have to solve an engineering problem which is how to load safely all of these frames. I've got 200 frames and this piece of furniture and I have to figure out a way to pack this in the truck. So I can show you what I did with this joinery method to make a very strong structural framework. I just delivered 200 canvas stretcher frames on my truck and this is the frame that I made. So I have two frames, the vertical one and the one on the bottom. And to take it apart, which I'm going to do in just a minute, 
I just have to unscrew from the top side. So in this application, I don't have the option of pocket screws on the bottom side, but this works just as good. And so the half lap provides the mechanical strength and you can pocket hole join without clamping because the half lap locks it in that position. And so those two methods working together make a really strong joint.